has the paladin and job has the patron warrior oh it's patron warrior oh yeah so there is the Ragnaros light lord what do you think of that Ragnaros it's pretty good you know he says live insect not yeah. die insect I think that's pretty cool So, as a patron, what kind of um, mulligan do you think you're looking for against a uh, Enzoth Pally? Well, he doesn't know for sure that it's an Enzoth Pally yet. I would always assume yeah, every Pally is an Enzoth Pally. Well, there's there's the other, there's the aggressive Paladins that people are playing now. The Divine Shield one is either that or Enzoth. Yeah, I rarely see those Pallies with the d Divine Shield. for early pressure and I re well the axe is you cannot throw the axe <laughs> there's nothing really to axe though if he's playing the Enzoth Paladin his early game is going to be all doomsayers and recruits so what are you actually saving the axe for oh that's true it's always just going to be hero power yeah yeah look yes the loot hoarder pyromancer doomsayers his earliest threats are going to come on turn 4 so you want you want to take the initiative and maybe have an execute for an early doomsayer. That's true, but Staz doesn't actually have his doomsayer, so that's kind of um, good for Job. And Job doesn't have any threats either. He has a turn 4 play. Okay, no, that was perfect. He got an Acolyte. The Acolyte is going to be great here. He wants to get a lot of draws for his um, patron combo. Yep. There's the Doomsayer. <laughs> I wonder if he'll want to use it. Wow, he has Pyro quality. That is so good against... Uh, so yeah. can Job actually get rid of this Doomsayer? I don't think so. Nope. Well, he can Inner Rage, Whirlwind, and hit with the Axe. That would kill it, but it seems like a waste. He has a Patron in hand, so I think he wants to save his Inner Rage and Whirlwind. He's probably just going to pass. armor up and pass. Yep. That's a shame his acolyte didn't get any draws, but Yeah, that was really good to deny the acolyte from drawing. And now the paladin has initiative. The first death yes. rattle minion is out. Harrison. That's interesting. I don't normally see Harrison's in the end of Pally. Yeah. Well, there isn't really a standard list right now, so mm -hmm. everyone's just trying to Everyone's different just things. playing their own thing. And what sort of works for them? Yeah, so you can't really say what's standard or. What did you do here? Do you think. What kind of. Oh, well, okay. So Job's gonna look for the ping for his patron. Yeah, or the life tap. Life tap is good. That's also really good, yeah. So yep. he got. He, at least he got the life tap. This looks really bad for Job though. The moment he makes a patron board, it's just gonna get cleared. Like, he would need to draw a uh, battle rage, get a really good battle rage. I mean, if he knew that Staz was holding onto Pyro quality, he would just save his patrons for. Do you think the Harrison is good here? Um. You mean right now on this turn? Yeah. Just as a what, tempo what, what play. No, he has his 6-6. Six, six. He can play the that heal bot. Oh, right. It's perfect turn 5. Corrupted heal bot. Well. Wait. Yeah, you definitely need to play something on tempo here. You don't want to, like, Actually, maybe, clear maybe you yet. should Harrison. Because there's only, there are only two weapons in the deck. He's not going to get value out of Harrison if he doesn't play it now. Yeah, I mean... There's probably Axe only is, like, two axes. Axe is, like, the only, yeah, the only weapon in the I've seen some people have other weapons in their patron. I've seen the from the from the new legendary, right? Mm, the I don't six see five. them. I don't see them running that card. But I, I see, see that them a lot. That okay, so yeah, Harrison. That what? minion, that four man. The Rathi weapons. Yeah, that yeah. one. I've seen them run that. Okay, so the hmm, how to take down this taunt. You mean 
no, it's the Warriors turn, so what's he gonna do? He might be thinking of just playing his patrons right now. Mm hmm But <laughs> we know clear that'd be the clear. really, really bad, but I mean, what are you gonna do as a warrior here? Exa the yeah. longer you wait, the more likely he is to have an equality to answer your patron board. So what do you think about this line um this matchup usually? How do you feel when you play patron against uh well, Enzo Pally? It depends on the list. I think the list I play is fine against it. Depends on what tech you have. Mm -hmm. We right. still don't know this if is good. job like runs um yeah, cork runs or type. yeah yeah. Cork runs would help a lot. You want to be able to burst him down. Yeah, in play case play like a temple deck, almost like an aggro deck. Mm -hmm. You can just rely on the patron, the patron combo. Right. Okay, so he's gonna execute and just save his patrons. I guess he expects there to be inequality, so he's just gonna play around it as much as he can. So it's Staz's turn now. So I think the corrupted heal bot is in a bad drop here. nothing else for him to play. Yeah, it's it's not a board he yeah. wants to clear with pyro equality yet. Yeah, no, definitely not. Although he does have two pyros in, no, no, he has two equalities. He needs another pyro or a consecrate. Oh, he is gonna equality. Wow, yeah, actually that was perfect. So he still has another one with yeah, his pyro. Yeah, he, he has another equality, so he doesn't mind. But this might make uh, Job think that it's okay to just go all in with his mm -hmm. patrons now. Right. We're gonna definitely uh, see some patrons here. I mean, what else can what else can Job? Else. Yeah. What no. else can Job do? He's just gonna go all in. What? Would you use t everything here, or just like one set, one just set, one, one inner yeah. age, one whirlwind? Yeah, for sure. In case you get another one, another patron. Oh, nice. He got his execute. Actually, mm, no, he has to enrage Roland. He might even just use the execute on the 5-4. Yep. Yeah. Have you tried using those new minions yet? The one one ones that give you a five yeah I tried that in my ends off belly it's pretty good I haven't used that minion yet actually it's like a it's like the new Nerubian egg it's <laughs> a six six for her that's right that's right it's nice because when you play ends off you want to you want your board to be resistant to a clear right because you've you just flooded the board so a death rattle minion that leaves behind something really strong it goes really well with the ends off belly that's why they run that. Oh, we're gonna say goodbye to the patrons. Now Job has kind of just got spells in his hand. We need a minion. Yeah, he needs another patron. At least he has the tap. Might actually be fine if he draws his uh, his second patron. I would have um, killed the one one. No, I would have just probably saved my weapon. I'll save but, the weapon. Um, I think he's he's thinking of just going aggro and trying to smork yeah, yeah, no, the pally down. I don't down know why already. he would just hit the face like that. Mm. This looks really bad now. Yeah. So the whole point for the ends of pally is just to really stall and then put a lot of death. Yep. Death rattle minions, and once that Ragnaros is out, especially on a clear board, it's really hard to just take down. Yeah, there's a lot of stalls. It's like the Murloc in. It's got the same game plan. So as Job the old has. Yeah, it's exactly the same kind of deck, really. The anything can happen is like the Enza card. Yep. <laughs> so Job only has one execute left in his deck. And it's not on him right now. No, this looks really bad. Black Knight. Black Knight is. I wonder if Staz runs any taunts. Well, he has to run Tyrion. Oh, that's, that's right. That's probably his only that's taunt. Right. So, Black Knight's just gonna sit in his hand until the Paladin plays Tyrion. 
Do we, um, he he might even just use it as tempo here. So he's gonna face Chat. again with the weapon. He's just hoping he he draws a patron. But even then, it's it's it looks really bad. Like he's dead next turn. Yeah. No matter what he does now. Does he have any odds? Hmm. So Staz just is just gonna take the first game from the looks of it. Yep. <laughs> well played. There, so Staz takes the first game. And that's the first pally that's yep. gone <laughs> for the day. Hands off pally's actually pretty good without a shaman to counter it. So what do you think of the first match? Patron versus uh ends off pally. Um it's pretty one sided. <laughs> yeah, Job was just like left in a really bad position. I mean the first wave of patrons he made just got cleared really easily with the second quality. Because um, he had both equalities and a yep. pyromancer, that was, that was like perfect. And and the doomsayer was really nice, which denied him from his draw. The draws, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very early. So patron had to end up top decking. So we're we're off to the second match. I wonder what deck is going to be up next. I think we might mm. even. Do you think a zoo will come out? What what are their lineups again? Staz is a warlock and a priest. That's his options. And Job it could Job could possibly just you know use the patron warrior again. Yeah, usually when people lose, they just go stick with whatever, to the same. Yeah. yeah. They just I mean, because he has to win with the patron warrior anyway, so he might just stick to the patron again. Well, you wanna you wanna play what whatever, whatever you think has the highest win rate versus your opponent's remaining decks. Game number two. Okay, so it's Freeze Mage, and it's not even Zoo. Staz is playing Reno Lock. Drop with the Freeze Mage and Staz with the Reno Lock. Do I wonder if it's a Cthulhu Reno Lock. Probably Reno Lock. I don't think Cthulhu Reno Lock is a pain. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen Cthulhu Reno locks. Right now, no one knows what a th what thing is in or what. Right, <laughs> but no, it's not Cthulhu Reno lock. We'll see. So with a uh, mad scientist gone from the freeze mage, what starting cards are you looking for? Um, Acolyte of Pain, Novice Engineers, Loot Hoarders, all your draws. Basically, uh, arcane intellect. Yeah, and I guess he has to assume also that it's a zoo, so you might want to keep doomsayer. Wow, he kept ice block. That's. I don't know if. Well, maybe it's the thing to do. Like, if you don't have med scientists, it's nice to have the secrets in your hand. Right, but you run two of them anyway, and, and if you look for your draws. Like an arcane intellect, you might just. You're very likely to draw a, a nice block sooner or later. And you have so many stalls. That ice block is really like the last thing you want. Novice engineer, so that's just gonna give it away to Staz that Job is playing a freeze mage. Yep. And Job probably already knows that this is a. Uh, some kind of control or luck. Staz could play the Acidic Swamp Ooze for tempo or he could just tap here. Those are basically the two options. Yep. Yeah, tapping is fine. He's gonna save that Spellbreaker for a Doomsayer, probably. The Acolyte is just great here. Just wanna get the Acolyte down so you can just ping it whenever you want <laughs> for draws. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I played Freeze Mage. When was that? Uh, I had someone helping me, trying to teach me how to play Freeze Mage, and they told me to ping, and I pinged the face, and they were like, No, you're supposed to ping the Acolyte! Oh, that was just the <laughs> other week, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was so bad. Okay, so you use the Spellbreaker on the Acolyte instead of an uh, Doomsayer. He chooses to um, play the spell already. 
The secret. And the secret was ice block. Yep, he played his ice block. I think he's gonna frost ball here. Or you could Oh no, he's gonna pick. He silenced his ac acolyte, which so is fine. which was good. So Staz really likes to deny the draw, which is great. Deny the draw. Yeah, he does, yeah. he's done it twice now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for decks like Patron and Freeze, it really helps a lot. It does. You stop them from Because those are combo cards. decks, yeah. and they need their draws. Well, it's also really nice to silence Doomsayer against Freeze Mage. So job is a lot of burst. She hmm. might be able to just let's see how much damage does he have? Twelve yeah, plus. Well, he has all of his burst damage. He's not afraid of taking five damage right now to this phase. It's fine. He has twenty-six damage in his hand. If he just went all face right now. With all the spells, mm -hmm. you could kill him in the next maybe um, three turns. Is that something you would do though, as a freeze mage? Well, the only thing you're really worried about is your Reno. But I think with this hand, he might not even have a choice. What else is he gonna do? And we know it'd be very good. His, the Reno lock has no uh, heals in his hand. To just go all in right now. Yeah. I mean, if that's his only play. No, he's, he wants to play safe. That's one fireball down. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I I would do that so, this is an OTK. This yep, is an OTK, OTK Reno lock. lock. So we see the Leroy. And no, you can't play Arcane Golem anymore. No, <laughs> you have to play Leroy. So it's just a bunch of spells in Job's hand. No minions, no Alexstrasza, no Emperor Thorison. So he's going for he's it. Doing he's doing it. Yep. yep. He's doing it. There's no other choice. Especially with a Pyroblast. Do you think part of him is... Well... Like... Um, do you think he regretted um, using the fireball? No, no, no. He has enough. Yeah, he actually has exactly enough next turn. He has 10 damage. He can fireball, frostball, ping. I think that's it. I think it's over. Unless. Oh, uh, no, no, he, has to, he can heal, of course. Yeah. He can heal. And Stats still has a chance to get Reno. Yeah. Alright, and then frostball. Okay, so he's trying. So he's planning to win by turn 10 with the Pyroblast. Stats just has to draw his Reno before then. Yeah, because the job next turn will do like fireball, frostbolt. Yep. Yeah. Actually, you could even just uh, frost Nova into. So and put him at ten. Job is basically looking at like if he doesn't Reno this turn, he doesn't have Reno <laughs> in his hand. That is he sure of that? Yeah, because. Well, he's already shown both ice lances, he's already, and he's a fireball, and a frostball. So he knows. No, Staz knows that the most the job can do next turn is what he can fireball, frostball, uh, roaring torch. That would be that would be the most he could do. Twelve. Well, that's pretty unlikely. I mean, he'd have to draw the roaring torch. That's still a lot of damage. So that's why he's choosing not to tap here. Yeah, but I mean. Job isn't sure that Staz isn't just holding on to a Reno. Because it's still. 14 seems pretty safe on turn 9. After seeing w what Job has used so far. Mm. He should just set up Lethal here. Probably Frost Nova to delay him a turn and then put Staz at 10 life. He's probably thinking that. Well. He can mm. Frost Nova, he'd have 6 mana, then. Frostbolt ping the face. If he Thorazons, no. He can't do that. 
He has to frost Nova or else he's, he's gonna not, die. He's not sending up Weefo anymore. Wait! Oh, okay. He wants... St so he doesn't care if Staz pops his ice block, basically. Because he has another one in I his I just hand. seemed wrong. He was I guess he was playing around Reno. That's the only reason he would not set up lethal there. Because he could have delayed his ice block popping for one turn by playing the Frost Nova. Mm -hmm. And he could have set up lethal by going face right there. So I don't know why he wouldn't do that. I thought it was a, a clear giveaway that he didn't have um, Reno and the previous if he didn't turn. use no, it no, but last Yeah, turn. no, that's not... He can't know that for sure. At 14 life. Yeah, it's much easier when you can see both hands, really. Okay, so he's just gonna steal the Thorazon with the PO. And he has to heal, I guess. health safe. He's definitely gonna play the ice block here and... Oh yeah, he has to. But I really think he should have frost over the previous turn. Ice block. Because now even if he freezes... Fireball ice phase blocks, and yeah. fire uh, frostbolt phase. He's not safe against the Leroy or... Or Hellfire, any direct damage. And the Frost Nova's out, so... Staz could pop his Ice Block and then Reno, and he would win. But he's... he needs the Reno. His only chance is just tapping right now and finding Reno. Yep. I wonder how many cards does he have in his deck right now? Hover over it! <laughs> I mean, that is the, his only option. He has to just tap here. What do you think he's thinking about? Uh, he knows that he's dead to any Roaring Torch or Pyroblast. I think I have a tap. There's no reason not to tap. Oh, and he didn't get his uh, Reno Jackson. So he's just thinking if he can just pop it with the Leroy. And just he's just hoping he doesn't have... Four damage in his hand. <laughs> yeah, but it's over. Clear the board. So, yep, Job's gonna take the second game. So yep. It's gonna be a 1 1. It's actually pretty hard without heal bot and without uh, low food. What were you talking about? Uh, the re the for Reno? Uh, yeah, for Reno. Yeah, because the heal bot, two heal bots are out. Right. But they do have um, two Farseers. No, one Farseer. Okay. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. I mean, we still we got to see a Freeze Mage, and we got yep. to see Reno Lock. Two decks from the previous meta still yep. being used. But the Freeze Mage took that one, because yeah, it was a bit hard for the... But Reno Lock didn't get it. It seems pretty hard for Reno Lock. Yeah, without heal bots, and he didn't get his Reno Jackson, which is the main heal. Oh so yeah. If he had just drawn Reno, it would have been completely different. So it's one one, on each side. Okay, so now we know why Jill banned the warrior. Cause he had freeze mage. Mm. But. And a patron and a control warrior is just really bad against freeze mage. Really good against freeze mage. I meant like for him, it's bad. Yeah, yeah. that's what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> wow, that's. Oh, this is an that's astral, an astral communion. Wow. And he gets his astral communion. That's what you want. Yeah, ideally, you also want to like innervate it out. He didn't get his innervate though. I have no idea what's gonna happen. So Staz is Reno back with the Reno Astral lock. Yep. You haven't seen this matchup before? I don't think I ever have. <laughs> Wild growth is great. I mean, that's the perfect start for a druid. Any druid. Yep. Alright. Let's see what Staz 
Let's see Staz's reaction when he finds out this is Astral Communion. Astral Communion, here we go. He got rid of his rag, though. Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what if the first card he gets is not like... What if it's like a 4 mana? <laughs> yeah, that could happen. That's what someone have. Like, someone was playing Astral Communion against me, and the first card he got was a Mire Keeper. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> Let's see what his first card is. A oh, swipe! See, I, I called mana. it! Yeah, I said it was four it. mana. He can't do anything right now. He doesn't... You see that he's a bit irritated. He's like, I, I didn't want the, my swipe right now. Mm, refreshment Fender. So Staz is just gonna drop down some tempo cards and... Get it going, <laughs> basically. We have the Cthulhu, which Job has to play. Interesting. I'm surprised. I, I wasn't. I really wasn't expecting to see an Astral Communion Druid. Yeah. It's it's a really fun deck, but I I don't. W when it comes to stats, I'm not sure how well it does. I've actually never played I, it on that. I've tried it. <laughs> I don't think it's. I don't think it's good. Based on your uh, yeah. stats. And when I fight it, I don't really have a hard time against it either. I don't know. I guess it depends on the lists also. Maybe no one's found the right list yet. Mm -hmm. It just seems really uh, inconsistent. You could not get astral communion at all, or you could get it and then. Top deck really bad cards. What what would you get here? I mean, uh, Soul of the Forest naturalize and astral communion. Almost it almost doesn't even matter. Naturalize naturalize is fine, but he doesn't even need it right now. He can just swipe swipe hero card to clear. What? He could have swiped the four four and then hero powered the five two. Looks like he's... That, that seems wrong. Like, his hero bar cleared the 5, would have cleared the drake anyway, so why why would he naturalize that? Mm. He could have just, yeah, saved the naturalize for something bigger, like a bigger threat. Yeah, and like, like he basically the used the naturalize thing. to save 5 HP on his hero and deal 1 damage to the warlock's face. Okay, let's see what the next card is. So exciting. <laughs> That's a, good, that's a good card. But it's not... Okay, Saz gets his Reno Jackson when he actually doesn't need it. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> need it now. Uh, what can Staz do? He has a lot of cards in his hand right now. He could actually, I don't know, Bran and Dark Peddler and just get like... Yeah, like a bunch or of stuff. I mean, it's not a... Yeah, just put more minions, basically, for Staz. It almost doesn't even matter what he does, but... Um, Is that a silence in his hand? The 4-3 uh, in the very left? Next to Alex Straza? Yeah, yeah, that's a spellbreaker. He's just gonna clear. I would drop the Bran and the Peddler. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. He's gonna I like keep that. his stores up. But he did tap last. Yeah, he, sh he should have tapped first. If he's gonna do that. That was a hard turn, though. Yeah, it like, was. It's so tricky. Because you don't normally run into scenarios. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. Power overwhelming silence. What is the next card? Arakoa. Oh, so this it is, is like a Cthun Astral Ramp Druid. Mm -hmm. He might actually have the card in his deck that brings back Cthun. Oh, right, right. So he's probably that not too worried. So bad. Okay, so what do you do here? Um, for you could Alex and just clear. You 
You'd have lethal next turn. Alex, the druid's face. Yeah. That's what you're saying? Yep. Because he has Leroy... Oh, wait, is it? Yeah. He has Leroy Hellfire. Oh, why didn't he clear, though? Oh, Maybe he's going to use the Alex Straza next turn to just cl take down the taunt. Uh, There's the Mire Keeper. Guess it doesn't matter. I was talking about but earlier. Yeah. yeah, that's game. He wins already. Yeah, because I mean, at this point, he doesn't need any more m mana crystals with his Mire Keeper, so he's just going to put the slime up. Yep. Wow. So is that going to be game? It's Fine. much more than enough. How much does he have? He could even uh, bounce the Leroy. 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 No, no, he can't bounce the Leroy. He needs 10 mana. Cool, so Staz takes the third game. Yep, he's up 2 1. He just has to win with his last deck. What's his last deck? Um. Was there, uh, we haven't seen it yet. Um, priest. Priest. He has to win the priest. It's gonna be. Yeah, w maybe control priest or Cthulhu priest. So we have for job, we have the astral druid and. The warrior? Patron warrior. Patron, it was the patron? <laughs> yep. The patron warrior that he lost with in game one. And we haven't seen the mage. Job's mage? Yeah, have we? No, this is Freeze mage that he won with. Oh, right. oh yeah, it's green. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to keep Cthulhu. It's not big no. enough yet. He's looking for Astral. Really? You'd even take out Wild Growth for it? I don't know, it depends on his list, it depends on his curve and what else he runs. I think you <laughs> might, you should, I, I don't know. <laughs> Just mulligan hard for Astral Communion, I guess. That's his plan. He didn't get no Astral. Well, he had like a, the perfect hand last game and it went so badly. Mm. What's he gonna do now that he's not even gonna have Astral? So, what kind of priest is this? Looks like, like just a yep. control, control priest. Control priest. Standard control priest. Well, he did get his inner vade, so that inner helps. Good. He should have kept wild growth. Yeah, that's he's, what I was He's probably uh, was regretting not keeping it now. <laughs> I mean, he could have just played it like a standard ramp druid. Because if he almost. wild growth, he'd be at he four, four. And yep. then, like, he'd inner vade, like, a six mana minion. That, the the six jouster. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, he has. He got communion anyway. But would you really want to do that? I don't think he'd want to come. Yes, he joust her first. I think he wants to do it next turn. So Staz has the option to shadow word here. Yep, yeah, that's pretty much path. it. Pass. And now he has to use it. No, we don't no? want to see. We don't want to see the Astral Communion with, and you, you don't want to get rid of all of these nice cards. Yeah, but then he could top like another nine drop or ten drop. Well, because if he doesn't do that, what's he gonna do? He's gonna wait until turn. He has no plays until turn nine. Right now. Maybe he's taking a different approach this time. He's like, last game I used my Astral Communion right, and it's right. it was bad. So this time he's thinking maybe I can just like wait it out and. He's thinking because it's a control priest. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. need to pressure him. But I don't mm. know. I th I would have just used the Astral. No, I think you can just Wrath here and Hero Power. Get rid of. Get rid of the Northshire cleric. Oh. Now he doesn't. Could have just done it last. It's a lot of cards to throw away. Well, it doesn't matter. That's the whole game plan when you're playing Astro Druid anyway. It, it doesn't matter on what you discard as long as you keep top decking enough. Yeah, to I, 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 to I don't know what your, cards he runs, yeah. so maybe he knows he still has like a lot of big minions. What? He definitely regrets not playing the Astral. The that turn, turn earlier. Yeah. I mean, he did it anyway.
Stas really likes the Harrison. <laughs> yeah, as in every day. Yeah, nearly. From what I've seen. Oh, Ancient of Lore. Ancient of Lore. I haven't seen that card in a while. It's not nearly as good. Ooh, I think he should get discover a minion, but maybe he's looking for a specific spell. Oh, uh, Starfire, yeah. Draws your card. Ooh. Oh, can I? Flash heal could be an option here. Yeah. Uh, what else? I guess he just wants to draw. gonna draw it twice and then uses our shire to clear. Mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty good. And the the girl gets and really the girl strong. Gets, yeah. <laughs> or no, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be really good. Oh no, he even has entomb. If the druid top mm -hmm. makes like a big minion, it's gonna help Staz a lot. Oh, he's got that card, the new card that brings a, a, ten, a 10 mana yeah, minion your to your hand. Which it's is a little slow. Hmm. I think Job, Job knows that he's not going to win this one. Because he said well played. He's given up. It just doesn't look good for him. That's how he feels. How much damage is this? Is that game already? Yeah? Yep. There we go. So Staz is going to take that. 3-1. Three 3-1. One. One. Yep. Astral Congrats Druid. to Not Staz. So good.